It's with Phonica phones. Well, my phones are Phonica. You and everyone else? Exactly. And if Rude Boy sell this ringtone package, I'll be laughing all the way to the e-bank. I can't even laugh all the way to my pockets. <laughs> Guys, this is a ten grand deal I'm hoping to pull off. Ten grand? Rude Boy, you're gonna be so rich. Say it a bit louder, Danny. <laughs> I don't quite think my mum heard you. She's not even in the house. Sorry. Come on. It's a secret. No one knows I'm Rude Boy but you two. Come on, Taj. Relax. Now, what time did you say Phonica phone were going to call you? Four o'clock. It's one minute past. I've lost ten grand. Check down the back of the sofa. <laughs> this is Phonica phones. Rude boy. TJ Lewis speaking. Yes. Oh, yes. I understand. Thanks for calling. Bye. Man. Sorry, geese. There'll be other deals. Not like that there, one. <laughs> so what do they say? I got a deal! Cut you! I got it! I got it! He's got it! He's got it! You got it! He's got what? That's up. What is it? Oh, no, nothing, sis, isn't it, guys? Nothing. What are you talking about? It was... It was nothing. Uh, I'm going to find out, and when I do... You're gonna find out. Yeah, bro. Spill the beans, or I'm gonna do a monkey crane ninja joke. <laughs> oh, I tell mum. You're learning, little bro. <laughs> You're lucky. I've got to go to work now, but I'll be watching you. Anytime you like, sis. Anytime you like. Come on, Omar. We better get out of this room before you turn into one of these three creatures. <laughs> See, we've got customers out here, and it is no fun ignoring them without you. I mean, how bad can it be, girl? <laughs> Come on, Missy. You know Clark's promotional week, so it's me in some dumb outfit. Yeah, and I'm the boss. So if you want to get paid, I better see you in those dumb outfits. Did you do that? <laughs> Come on, girl. Get out here. We need to get paid. We've so got to get tickets for the Eternity Sister gig. <laughs> Sorry, that is funny. No, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Wicked looks is definitely an improvement. Curry, sha, sha, sha. Looking fine, just like me and my buff body. You need to sue whoever told you that body was buff. <laughs> and whoever described this stuff as food. Yeah, the usual my usual table, please. And as usual, I don't care. <laughs> Man, everyone's got my Rude Boy ringtone. Including you, Rude Boy, because that's your phone. <laughs> Mr. Strasburg? Mr. Lewis, I've been thinking about that deal we agreed on yesterday. Oh, man. Oh, yes. Listen, I'm flying home early, so we'll need to meet up next Monday to cut the deal. Do you want to meet me? Absolutely. I prefer to do business face to face, don't you? Oh, absolutely. Just to meet me. In person on Monday. Not in the morning, because we got double mass. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes then. Listen, gotta go. I'll see you next Monday at three. Bye. But Mr. Strasburg, Mr. Sh How am I gonna pass for a serious business executive by Monday? Yeah, when you barely pass as a 14-year-old schoolboy today. <laughs> so I guess that's goodbye meeting, goodbye contract. Goodbye 10 grand. Geez, you can't lose 10 grand. Look, you've got to tell your mum. I'd rather shoot hoops in my head. Are you scared she's going to ground you? Scared she's going to kill me? <laughs> I'm trying to make this money to make life easier for her. Until then, I'm not telling her I'm rude, boy. Don't sweat it. We'll think of a plan. Plan? What are you three kicking up? Hi, Tamsin. Just trying to find out a way how we can get tickets for Eternity's sister. What? You mean tickets like these? Well, <laughs> we're sorted, babe. It's just a shame. Your boyfriend won't have evolved into a human by then. <laughs> well, let's leave Taj Lewis and his, uh, so stupid crew. Oh, God, they can get us backstage passes, babe. 
That'd be great, honey. <laughs> What are you still doing here, slug bread? I'm here, you're here, and Mum's at work. Who's picking up Omar from karate? Omar! Some of us do have to work, you know. Yeah, right, that'll be a first. How does he do that? Could you help me? Listen to this. That's heavy! I believe when people hear that, they're going to be downloading it like rain. So what's the grand total, woo boy? Thirty-eight thousand four hundred twenty-eight pounds and fifty-six pence, approximately. <laughs> I could go to the pound shop thirty-eight thousand times. <laughs> and that's just from the ringtones. Eternity sister, here we come. Ka-ching! Ching! Ka! Please, I hope you ain't looking at me to get them. What? Oh man, how many times? The money's not for me; it's for my mum. And besides, even if I wanted to. I put it in an account that needs six months' notice. What'd you do that for, you spanner? <laughs> it's called... Cool. Leave us not into temptation, bro. All right, all right, all right, all right. Look, we want to check out Eternity's sister, but we can't get to none of the Rude Boy Wedge. So I've come up with an idea to get the tickets. Now, let's go to my dad's garage and I'll show you. Oh, I can't. I've got to figure out a way I can sew up this deal with Mr Strasberg without him finding out I'm a 14-year-old boy. Plastic surgery! <laughs> We'll catch you later, Tom. Yeah, but you, you don't know what you're missing. This is what Taj is missing. <laughs> what are they supposed to be anyway? Well, at the moment, they're garden fairies. For some reason, my dad couldn't shift them. It's still down the market. <laughs> What's that got to do with us? Ah, oh, don't you see? There's three of them. Eternity's sister. You getting it now? You're so joking. These things look nothing like Eternity's sister. Ah, oh, think business. With a lick of paint, we can knock these out at a tenner each. That's the tidy sum of 30 bills a set, times 12. That's, well, it's enough to get the concert tickets and then some. I could buy that chrome blender. <laughs> Whatever goes your pokies. Did one of us order chicken? And I'll tell you what, it's not the one with good nails. And if you mention the Viking helmet, you die. <laughs> you know, you're just so good with people. <laughs> so, listen, you're going to see your tiny sister or what? I'm working on it, girl, but I've hardly got any money these days. I have to give most of it to my mum. Rent, food, electricity, you know, all that sort of nonsense. Oh, your mum is hard. I don't give my parents a thing. They understand I've got my own expenses. Nails, clothes, music, <laughs> the essentials. That is so healthy. bothering me when I'm busy talking. <laughs> What's up? It's Carlton. He says if we don't get back to work in the next two minutes, he's going to dock our wages. How can they see what we're doing? I tell you, that man's got eyes everywhere, even in his head. <laughs> Why are we rushing? He said we've got two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I know a lot of money's riding on this, but you're just going to have to do it yourself without me. Yeah, well, the painting got kind of ugly, Todd. I've had to change my clothes and everything. And what colour do you want us to paint your skirts? I say blue, Seymour says red. Look, Danny, I'm wrecking my brains here trying to figure out a way how not to meet Mr Strasberg. Why don't you just send someone else? Danny, if it was that easy... Danny, you're a genius! Yeah, well, that's my middle name. <laughs> Actually, no, it's not. It's Quinton, but don't tell me when I said that. All right, ladies, good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Tars is blue. Oh, Ma! Hey, Mum. Oh, hi, Mum. Hard day at the office, dear? Oh, the usual. Surrounded by bad tempered, sick people. And that was just the bus journey home. <laughs> Where's Missy? She's still working at the chill out, girl. <laughs> she told me she'd finish in time to take care of Omar. What? She told me you said I had to take care of Omar tonight. Uh, that girl! I mean, I think that's a bit more responsibility. Heather screwed on properly. I mean, if I was Mom. her age. Mom. <laughs> You're mumbling again. Sit down, put your feet up, and I'll make you a cup of tea. <sighs> Sorry. If Omar hasn't dropped it, the cups again. <laughs> Your team, little boy. We're here on a business meeting, our gorgeous Carisha Sha Sha Sha. <laughs> You know, you're so gorgeous, you can actually carry off wearing that Viking ensemble. And there ain't many babes hot enough to do that. 
Don't try and get round me, worm boy. I know you love me, really. And you're going to love me even more when you see what I have for you. And what are those ugly things? They look like badly painted garden gnomes. Carleen, Denise and Bianca. That's right. Limited edition Eternity Sister statuettes. Now, they're £15 each, £30 a set. Would you say? Come on in, boys. Hey, come on! Five, four, three, two, one. Do you call yourself a businessman? Put the bag. Danny, what are they supposed to be? Forty-five pound eternity sister statuettes. And uh, why do we want this rubbish when we're going to go see them in the flesh? And my dad got us backstage passes. Sorry, guys. Of course. That's it. Ricardo, you're brilliant. No, I'm not. <laughs> and where do you think you've been, little Miss Missy? <laughs> and before you try it, I've spoken to Taj. I needed to make some extra money at the chill. And I know you won't understand, but Eternity's sister are playing in concert and I have to see them. What makes you think I won't understand? I wasn't born this big, you know. Only in my day, it wasn't Eternity's sister. It They're was... great grandmothers. <laughs> you really don't want to go to this gig, do you? It's a joke. If you must know, it was disco. Cool and the gang were my group. I remember once they were coming to London. Mum, is this going to be another one of your long old time stories? Because I have to be up in nine hours. <laughs> Missy, I know you're 18. And I know there's things you want to do. But being an adult means you have to be respectful and responsible and sometimes make sacrifices too. Mum, does that mean I can't work the extra hours? If it means shirking your responsibilities, no. Thanks, Mum. <gasps> I mean, thanks, Mum. So did you ever get to go to that concert? Let's just say your granny showed me the error of my ways when I snuck into the house that night. Boy, things must have been hard in medieval times. <laughs> the funny can meet us tomorrow. It's like, soon. Who am I going to send? Well, there's loads of people. What about Carlton? Missy works for him. She'll find out and then tell Mum. What about Mr Murray? Ricardo's dad. Are you mad? Ricardo hates me. He'll tell my mum. Lily, the lollipop lady. Mum. The doctor. Mum. <gasps> mum. No, I was going to sneeze that time. <laughs> That's it. You're the first person forced to retire at 14. Boy, it's a hard life for us high-powered business tycoons. <laughs> Whatever you say, Danny. You know, these ain't that bad. They actually look a bit like Eternity's sister, if you squint a bit. <laughs> well, I painted all the Biancas. Seymour's still painting his lot. Although his looks like Ainsley Harriet and a Bob Weaver nighty. <laughs> what do you think they sell? I mean, we tried Carlton, but he wouldn't know a good deal if it ran up and bit his nose off. He hasn't got any taste. He had Missy. No, a record shop's the best place for these. Well, let's hope Ricardo's dad thinks so. Just go in there. Be clear, courteous and confident. Trust me, if you believe in a product, you can sell ice cream to Eskimos. <laughs> Call yourself a businessman. Why? In times of stressful chores, a girl needs a touch of eternity's sister to see her through. Denise, Carleen, Bianca. Where are my girls? I bet that little snot bubble tar just got it. <laughs> it's not like the little runt to leave out his phone. <laughs> yeah, it's Taj's phone. Hi, is TJ Lewis available? Who? Oh, Taj, nah, but I'm his sister. Oh, a family business, cute. <laughs> this is Jerry Strasberg, head of Phonica Phones. Tell Mr. Lewis I need to move our meeting to an hour later at the Phonica office. One hour later, Phonica office, whatever. I must say, Miss Lewis, we're really excited about this deal with you guys down at Rude Boy. Those ringtones you've created are great. Yep, okay, bye. <laughs> oh my gosh. My dad told me you guys tried peddling your tat. <laughs> Man, don't you two losers have any shame? Here, Sam, buy me a milkshake. I've got to go to the loo. I 
the swamp dweller returns to its natural habitat. <laughs> Pretend you're not laughing, Tamsin. Only at you guys. Here, pull up a seat at the loser's table. It's me. Oh my gosh, my phone! Where's Taj gone? Um, yeah, you just remember you had some big date. Oh, right. So, Tamsin. You sure I can't interest you in a limited edition attorney sister statuette? <laughs> Take that as a no then. Lost something, donkey breath? You haven't seen my mobile, have you? Uh, no, but if we phone it, when it rings, we'll hear it. Oh, don't be. That's a good idea for you. Here you go. Speed down number three. Oh, is this what you're looking for? Thank you. Has anyone called for me? There was one call. Mr. Strasberg, uh, head of Phonica. We had a good old chat. Although, why would he be calling you, Noodle Brain? <laughs> well, they, um. I'll tell you why. Because you're Rude Boy. No, no, I'm not. Rude Boy me. <laughs> I knew it. I always knew you were up to something. Her mum got out of shape just because I worked a few measly hours at the chill. She's going to go crazy when I tell her about this. Tell her what you want. I haven't done anything. <sighs> OK, I'll go and tell her that you're not, rude boy. OK, OK, OK. But you've got to swear. You've got to swear you won't tell mum. OK, I swear. On my nails. <laughs> OK, I'm rude boy. When Dad was dying, I promised I'd take care of you all and make enough money for mum. So I thought a million would be a good start. So I'm making a million. <laughs> so how much are you worth right now? Just over 38k. Oh, too fabulous. I want my cup now. <laughs> what? Pay up, rude boy, or I tell mum. You just swore on your nails. Uh, they only last so long. <laughs> I swear, you may legally be an adult, but I'd sooner trust Omar. Want... That's it. You. Yes, you. What? Seeing as you're going to be benefiting from Rude Boy eventually, how'd you like to make me some money now? And this involves me doing what exactly? Talk to Jerry Strasberg, go to the meeting and sign the papers on my behalf. And why can't you do it? You're meant to be that big brain and everything. Because if I turn up, I think I'm just a kid. But if a mature, dignified woman like you turns up... Uh, don't forget sophisticated. <laughs> yeah, well, that goes without saying. If you want me to be big wigging it with the big cheese, who do you think's gonna look after Omar? Oh man, this isn't happening to me. <sighs> Actually, if you want me to be a business executive, I'll have to dress like one. And that takes plenty of bills. <laughs> Maybe not. I'm sure Mum's got some old clothes that you could fit into. <laughs> One of ours, Rude Boy Original. <laughs> Hi, Taj. Yeah. Well, just a little bit late. An hour and ten minutes? <laughs> you know how it is. The office can't function five minutes without me. <laughs> Missy, just remember to be professional. Sorry, Taj. The first step in Fonica's plans for world domination in the telecommunications market is blah, 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 blah. <laughs> That's where we feel Rude Boy comes in. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. I tell you, Carisha, some of these 80s clothes are heavy. What? I was just a businessman in a bad suit. Uh, gotta go. I see that you already enjoy the benefits of a Fonica fold. 
yeah, whatever, but how come the text messages come through in the wrong order and I end up answering questions that I haven't even been asked yet? Oh, no. And how come the Movina 427 comes in lilac, red and burnt orange and the Fonica 326 only comes in beige? Well, I mean... Those kind of excuses might work with the ordinary punter in Strasbourg, but they don't wash with me. I'm in the business, don't forget. Now, look here. Oh, yeah? I'm scared of you. Or your suit. Oh, gosh. Uh, is that the time? <laughs> Kitchen. Well, I tried to call you, but your phone was engaged. How'd it go with Jerry? I had to tell him about himself. Oh, man, I knew you'd screw this up. I'm telling you, you do not want to do business with a man like that. That deal was in the bag. Now, thanks to your big wig in it, you just lost me 10K. Is this a bad time to ask for an advance? <laughs> Looks like we can kiss goodbye to the gig. Can't believe no one bought our statues. I've lost my appetite. Too much cream anyway. <laughs> Hello? Mr Murray told you about our statues. Tell him not to bother. For ourselves out. You actually want to buy them? Can I put you on hold for a moment? Before you say anything, I just want to say I'm sorry. Well, sort of. It wasn't my fault. What can I do to make it up to you? Give me your attorney's sister ticket. Well, that's just taking liberties. All right, then. Then pay me the £10,000 you lost me from the Fonica deal. Either that or your ticket. I know you wouldn't take my ticket. I know you wouldn't. <laughs> I'll just go and get it. Missy, wait. Mr Strasburg's just sent me an email. Look, I've already said I'm sorry. He said nobody's ever spoken to him like that since his first wife. <laughs> well, I thought he didn't look too pleased. And the veins on his forehead started to stand up like <laughs> off of the underground. <laughs> <clears throat> you also said you were a down-to-earth breath of fresh air in the stuffy world of corporate formality. What? He can't talk to me like... <laughs> oh. He's not only going to do the deal, but he's going to be putting more work our way. Yes! And it's all down to yours truly. <laughs> Stick with me, pig face, and you might start seeing some results. <laughs> Special delivery. <laughs> You're now looking at the part owner of no statues but three Eternity Sister tickets. What? What happened? Mr. Murray came through, hooked us up with some funfair guy that runs a stall, bought the lot. Oh, nice one. Is he going to give him away his prizes? Not exactly. He decided they'll be better off for his targets in a raffle range. <laughs> to be honest, they did look pretty rough for models of teenage girls. Have you met my sister? I heard that, you little rat. Well, looks like we all get to go to the concert after all. Not quite. Well, we have all got tickets, haven't we? Yeah, but if we're all at the concert, who's, who's going to look, look after Omar? Omar? Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs>